Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Spyro the Dragon. In the last episode we finished Metalhead, which can be interpreted in several different ways. Also, we just got alive. And in this episode we're going to go to the next world, which is the second to last world, which honestly it pretty much is just the last world. Or the very last world is just three levels and... They're not that huge or difficult at all. So let's call, talk to Crady Balloonist. I can go to Dream Weavers, which is the last actual wood. And it has a couple of fairly difficult levels, I must admit. In my test run, this is the world which took me the longest because it has a bit of secret going on for it. So I think there are five more videos in this world than four videos in the final world and then before we actually do the final boss fight we have to do a certain special video which why am i lagging this is a playstation 1 game for fuck's sake why am i lagging with my playstation oh i know why i think i know why wait wait a second uh smoothings off that doesn't make any sense Maybe because I'm displaying this... Oh, I think I know why. I'm displaying this in 480p rather than like 5 something something I. Which this game probably isn't made to do that. <laughs> but it looks way better for me in the recording. It really doesn't matter because uh, while rendering, the de-interlacing actually works really well. And you can't tell I recorded it in an I format. Oh, no. Damn it. So I don't know why. Oh, I don't know why I changed it. I changed it because I wanted to stream. And when I'm streaming the actual preview, if it's big enough, you can see the uh, interlacing. Which obviously is really, really annoying. And do you have a jam behind you? I thought you did, but apparently you don't. So let's go over there next. There's not a way you're supposed to get over here. <laughs> But I just saw this and I'm, well, uh, it is a way, I suppose. It's not the way you're supposed to do it. But honestly, since when do I care about what you're supposed to do? So how many gems are there actually? 300. So let's talk to this dragon. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Yeah, sure. Sure. Because that makes total sense. So let's get on with... Uh, we're almost finished with this Let's Play. There's only this world. And after this world, I'm going to do a special episode, which is probably going to make me go insane because that... That special episode is going to be horrible. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, the, I think they're called Speedways. And they are the most horrible thing ever to be invented in the Spyro franchise. So, yeah. Expect a lot of rage from me there. But firstly, another dragon. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. And that's that. 60 dragons. I think uh, I looked it up. I think it totaled around 80 dragons, actually, and not 90. Then maybe I didn't look it up. That's what I mean to say. But my test run is almost completed, and I have like 70 some dragons, and I'm at 90 some percent. So it's probably only 80 dragons. There may very well be 90. For all I know, there may be 90, and I may have missed like an entire stage with like 10 dragons. Well, or two stages, that's possible. I think that's very, very, very possible. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. That is a bit... dark. Yeah, those things, uh, they can't die, but they turn into timers, and when they turn into timers, that happens, and it unlocks a certain part of the stage. Which, in this case, led me to a couple of gems. Okay, now, important, important. These gems over here, 
two gems, uh, which are worth five. Really, really easy to miss. So please, for the love of God, pick them up because it literally took me an hour searching around here in my test run to find them. Well, I didn't find them. I looked up on YouTube a tutorial a walkthrough on the Dreamweaver's homeworld. And then I found out, and I was like, how was I supposed to know that? I mean, I suppose it's it's not easy to spot, but it's not impossible either. That being said, I have seen easier uh, things in my days. Oh yeah, those two, uh, yeah, those will not get shrinked. And you might be wondering by this point, uh, how do these things get shrinked and bigger again? Because you probably noticed. Well, this is little fancy cannon right over here and that guy is controlling it and when you flame him you get control of the cannon like in peacekeepers i think it's called the world and you can just rotate it but this one doesn't shoot cannonballs it shoots a laser which makes things either grow or small depending on the current state and it kind of homes in so you don't have to be really exact a little bit exact this is always nice, but don't not really a lot of skill is involved in it. And I was gonna say I'm gonna miss a jam there, I know it. So just 50 jams to go. Here are two of those timer things. Uh you only have to really kill or unlock attack thing this one and get up here really quickly. Normally you do both of them and uh, you do a little jumping puzzle thing. But we're not doing that. We are not doing such a thing today. We're using timing to our advantage, which I think this is it for this episode. So next time we'll be back uh, doing a couple of stage. well one stage, but I'm going to be recording a couple of stages. So next time we're probably gonna go into Dark Dark Passage. Oh Dark Passage! This will be fun guys. Until the next time, do not forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Also share it on social media. I have been Vlogram, you've been awesome. My social media is down below in the description as always. Bye.